Morning. We're back on the Lake District again this morning. Today we're parked at uh, Sadgill in the Long Sleddle Valley and it's in the southeastern part of the Lake District. Today we're going to walk up to Two Fells, Grey Crag and uh, Tarn Crag. I think the walk's about uh, six mile, so we'll see how it goes. So we'll park down there next to the bridge here at Sadgill. And that's just looking up the valley there. So from the bridge, we're just heading away up the fell side towards style in the wall. So the first bit is quite steep, heading away from the parking area. That's just looking back down the way we came up there. Really steep coming up there. And the parking area just down there to the left there. So you can see the track coming down the valley. That's how I route back later on. Fantastic views now for heading up. So we've reached a stile here on the wall, so we'll cross the stile, continue the route up. So we'll cross that stile, continuing on the path up to uh, Great Crag. Fantastic views now, it's getting higher up. Superb views, looking up the valley there now. So across there is Kentmere Pike, with a little bit of snow on the side there, and then Goat Scar straight across there, and Shipman Nuts straight opposite now. So we walked across that ridge just two or three weeks back.
So the gradient's not quite as steep now. Once we've got through that uh, rocky section there. So we'll come to this marker post next to the wall. So we turn right and head beside the wall. So after following that uh, wall for a short while, come to another style, and head over the style. Great views again looking over the valley there. So Kentmere Pike, straight across the other side of the valley. Coat Scar, and then Chip and Nuts across there. So we're now on Great Howe, we're still heading up to uh, Great Crag, quite a clear path, you can see now. So I'm just looking back uh, in the direction we've just walked from there. Come to another style. This is the third one of the day. So we're not far from the summit of uh, Great Crag now. Well, that's changed a bit. Just looking back along the path there, we just walked. So we came to a pike at the other side of the valley there. It's now uh, covered in clouds. So this is Great Crag. It's 638 meters or thereabouts. Head across there next, that's Harrow Pike across there. But we've uh, lost the views a bit today. Clouds come over now. That's back down the valley there. That's looking back the way we came up. Across there is Kentmere Pike in the clouds. Shipman knots at the end of the ridge here. And Tarn Crag across there.
So I'll leave it Drake Crag. I'm going to head across the ridge to uh, Harrow Pike now. A bit too cold today to hang around up there. So Harrow Pike is just a short walk across the ridge here from uh, Grey Crag. So this is Harrow Pike. I think it's only about a metre lower than uh, Grey Crag Summit. I think it's about six, three, seven metres. A much better can than uh, Grey Crag. So we're leaving Harrow Pike, just too cold to hang around. We're going to head over to uh, Tarn Crag now. So there's been quite a change in the weather from when we started the walk. Can't see much at all now. So we've retraced our steps away from Harrow Pike back towards Grey Crag. But then we head off to the right towards Tarn Crag. So that's just looking back in the direction we just walked. Not that I can see much of there. So we're still heading up to uh, Tarn Crag. Path just follows this fence here. So we started the walk this morning with nice sunshine and blue skies. It's really changed. So this is Tarn Crag, it's around 664 metres I think, or thereabouts. Not that we can see much, just see one of the horse water aqueduct survey columns in front there, we'll go and have a look at that. So we're still on Tarn Crag, just got no views at all now. So just beside the summit of Tarn Crag, this uh, horse water survey column. These were used in the 1930s when they built the um, Horsewater Aqueduct. It's four in this area. So we'll even turn crag now. I'm going to start the route down. It's just no views up here at all today and too cold to hang around. So the path heading down from Tarn Crag, it's just fall on the fence here. We are starting to get a, a bit of a view now. Well, the weather's took another turn for the worse. It's starting to snow as we've come lower down. So I'm just looking back uh, in the direction we've walked there. 
So we'll come down from the right of the shot, across the stream. I'm going to follow the track back down to where the car's parked at uh, Sadgill. So we're still heading back down the valley towards Sadgill. Quite dramatic crags. Each side of the valley. Right, so we're now back to the parking area at Sadgill. We've had a really mixed day as far as the weather's concerned. Starting off in sun this morning, end up in a, a bit of snow and low cloud. But still, really good day.